that goes away. That goes away. And maybe just kill the... Well, just kick, kick the artificer. We can play the botchling. Actually, it's not much point doing that. Let's just go with Vinham Vatra. We shall never surrender. Although, there's a... Holy shit! My hero power is locked? Oh my god! What is this bullshit? Usurper, really? Best video game characters. Where the fuck do I begin? The thing is, like, I, I just know so many. I don't even know. The thing is, like, I tend to value the the characters in TV shows, video games, and uh, books, most of all. This, this free. Uh, because there is more time to develop the characters. And that's... That matters a lot. The mm. is really is usually is ah usually yeah. Oh my god! Usually shit against engines. This is actually a mistake that I do uh, from time to time. That I just try to talk too fast and uh, not sure why. Inigo, the blue cat, Skyrim mod. That's a great character. I agree. Uh, I was about to say that... Fuck, I don't know the name of the character. And you guys would, probably wouldn't know it. Jaspar... Jaspar Valderak. Uh, that's a good character. Really enjoyed. And... Uh, wow, I would need to look into it. Securia... Well, she was my lover and I don't even know her name anymore. God damn it. Uh, Kalia Sakarash and Jespa Dalvarak. Kalia Sakarash, that's that's the one. Really enjoyed that. Like just so fleshed out. I really enjoyed the 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 interaction with uh, Kalia. Uh, I definitely recommend Enderal if you guys uh, ever feel like playing uh, uh, the best RPG of your life. Alright, two arms guy. Get some boost. Caesar from Fallout New Vegas is a great character too. Hmm. The first character from Fallout New Vegas that came to mind was the the cowboy chick that you could pick up at the bottom right of the map. God damn it! It was so long ago. Cassie? Fuck, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she wasn't that memorable. Oh, no, no, that's not the one. That's not the one that's mo most memorable for me. I like the one that was named by Felicia Day. Uh, that's the... Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, initiate. Ah, uh, she was fun. Oh, New Vegas was a... Uh, very good game. What? We got locked now. God damn it. I can play this and maybe it won't get shut down. This is pretty bad. These dogs have no honor. Well, we're technically getting some boosts. Fight for the Emperor and you might be free. Oh my god. May your blade never dull. May Make your hand never waver. 
It's gonna get strong and smack you. I care for them. Fuck me. Really? There's no way. I underestimate my power? Nah, I think we were fucked. Is he gonna choose to push me? Because he can. That is bad. That is bad too. Is there anyone here to whom I can entrust Veronica? Assistant? Yeah, that was Verna. Veronica. Uh, let's go with Avalok. Are you guys cheating or you guys just remember? God damn it. I don't know. I can't tell. You guys better not be cheating. Critical thinking. The sign of a healthy mind. Who was the most memorable Skyrim uh, NPC? Was it Jarl ba Balgruff? Wait. That's gotta be someone else. I'm thinking. Fuck. It's gotta be some... Dark Brotherhood person. Uh, let's do a knighthood. The companions weren't great, uh, unless... The thing is, it's a little bit of a wash, wash for me, because I added in so much crap. So, I, I, I kind of find it hard to uh, tell where do the mods begin and where, well, yeah. Destiny is unswerving. Cheated. It will not be. Let's go with that. What do you guys think? Tsar Borgia in Assassin Brotherhood? I didn't play that. You were, you were a big fan of Brynjolf? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, the, the companions. Good story arc, I, I suppose. But as I'm more of an assassin man myself, that's not gonna be terribly useful. Ragnarok is not gonna be terribly useful either. But this could, ha my, this could have value. Actually, the cards in the deck are most likely going to be worse than what I have. Uh, let's go Watchmen. Mashed potatoes with thick gravy. So, we often milk some milkmaids. Huh. Well, it's kind of tricky, because I want good value, but also we need to be careful. Let's just say we are not using the shield. I was kind of trying to think some stand standout characters in Skyrim, but ultimately I would say that Skyrim didn't really have crazy good characters. That wasn't really the focus. Skyrim was more of an action adventure role playing. Ooh. Let's shield that. It's possible that I can have the biggest unit. So, what if I go. But obviously, we need to hit Count Coldwell and hit everything. Then Count Coldwell might actually come to our side. Long live the Emperor! Apparently not. <laughs> Count Coldwell getting fucking abused. I hate that. He should move on the opponent's side, or I don't know. 
GG! What do you guys say? Can we beat the Dana? Time to put down your bets. All the chips in the middle. Who wins? Neve or Dana? Maybe not that. By the way, if you guys have any uh, ideas how to improve the deck, I'm open to it. Because I kind of try to stay away, if we can, a little bit from the meta and just try to make something else awesome, if we can. But maybe it's not possible. One for sure, Henrietta cannot be awesome. Holy crap. Saying that she's bad is uh, an understatement. Maybe not with another deck, but uh, the Simulate deck is uh, pretty damn bad. I kneel before no one. So, what he's doing is that he's just going for uh, a, a long round free. And this is what the other guy did as well, so I would assume that either this is a a very common move on the ladder, or some uh, popular streamer is making the suck up a popular move. Magic can work wonders when used correctly. I just find it odd that two people open up with uh, Saskia, put Shani in the deck. Can't. I left Shani. I left Shani in Witcher 1. I chose Triss. Have you thought of Visigard? Has boost synergy? Visigard? Uh, I think I know which, is, which one is that guy. <laughs> well, I, I managed to find a, a death metal band from the 80s. I probably need to add Gwen to it. Oh, you, you just typed it incorrectly, isn't it? Didn't you? But I do know the guy. Um, not a lot of thing gets... Not a lot of units get boosted. The new Norrell Mage. What are we doing here? So he did play two important value generators. Very interesting. Maybe we're gonna play uh, Greenforce Trebuchet and boost it. We're just playing trash, obviously. He played two impactful cards. Three impactful cards. In your orders. Mm -hmm. huh? I can't pass yet, and he did play three useful cards. So, if we go to a long round, we might be good. We'll pay men back for the now, at this point, he says, "Like, nah, I'm not interested. Let's just uh, go." Uh, round free, and I suppose I'll do that. When we ha had a fight, had a fight like this, uh, I think I made this same mistake that he possibly made. That, uh, but maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe he just knows that I'm so shit that uh, he's gonna dominate me round free. But I did make a mistake of maybe overcommitting a little bit. Uh, round two, round one, and round two. Not leaving enough for round three because th that's just it in this deck. With this deck, you just need to save everything for last, and maybe the shields don't matter too much. 
I would like a Ragnarok. And removal makes a lot of sense because if I play a botchling and he doesn't shut it down, and I go second, this is gonna be 15 points for 8. So removal is extremely valuable. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not expect that. Uh, so I can start blowing up some dryads. I want that. I'm a little surprised. So Princeton says it's gonna get played to kill a dry fledgling. Don't you fret about me. I take care of myself. Before they get out of control. I demand satisfaction! Now! Then we might play some value generators. Uh like Botchling. I would just straight up better than play my value generator. Yeah, let's play him. Boost him as well. I think it's safe to say that he wants to force my hand. And we probably have to plan on dropping Corvo soon. So it's gonna be Avalok and Corvo. If he can help it. And it seems like maybe he's slowing down. It's a little surprising after all this. Maybe he's just ordering it a certain way. But that's a little odd. Hello, Mr. Haircut. Not you too. Everybody made fun of my haircut. Voltus can uh, crack what? Crack Avalak, Awkwist, and Loads get real value. Same deck, nearly just a few changes. Wonder Grift. Well, what I do value in Neve is that she can uh, trigger the boost synergies herself. With Voltus, it would be a little trickier. Why it looks fine. They say I look like Gaunter. <laughs> Not sure if that's a compliment. Oh crap. No! He values the the lock more. The fresh person leaks. Ooh. Okay, he's kinda of playing into uh a lacerate. Classic Nedra haircut. <laughs> okay, let's just go with uh, Queen Dahlia. My great granddaughter will do great things. My latest masterpiece. Behold it, admire. Mm. Let's not boost that. If he has a boosted Shadow Skags or he's gonna get one, then the botch that can be uh, too dangerous. Well, this is not good. But we have a Lacerate. 14. That's not quite good enough. Sometimes the price is too damn. We managed to force my hand. We 
can be like, maybe I should have uh, tried to boost the bot shrink. This deck doesn't really have a finisher, but maybe he, he doesn't have either. So how many decks do you have now? Uh, that feel fun or good? Well, kind of two, but I would say mostly Brewer Traps. There's nothing quite as good as Brewer Traps. If we play a weak unit, he's just gonna be like, hell the fuck yeah. So far, his Sheldon Skags can have two boosts, so it can technically blow up Aquist. Actually, it can blow up Aquist. Not after I play it and boost it twice. Here and once more. And if I don't play Aquist, and first of all, it's not going to be terribly useful next turn. And uh, I'm going to lose cards as well. If he has Sheldon Skex, he's most likely going to play it on the melee row. Hit Alquist. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he's just going to leave it for last. Follow me this way. Uh, we don't have much choice here. Uh, we have to Alquist. And, uh... I guess we're gonna boost the one with the shield. The good of magic! That is what I serve first and foremost! He has an excellent card, so I think he's gonna pass. That's a finisher. Because that's a value generator deck that actually has a finisher. That's not great. The shields serve no purpose. That's the problem with shields. What is it now? Okay. Dana, you did it. Wait. Did he keep his hero power? No, he did not. Oh, he's not gonna play in the back now. Please don't kill it. Fine. Not like that was happening anyway. We should have enough bodies. We don't talk about booby traps here. Why not? That's the best deck. Six points. Let's see, seven points. We crushed Dana! I'm a popper! <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Apparently that's how you do it, guys. Easy. GG. Wow, that was intense.